Hello everyone. Welcome to Patshala. Now in this video we will see how to build a simple convolutional neural network on Fashion MNIST dataset. So first of all import libraries required for it. TensorFlow as tf, matplotlib.pyplot as plt for plotting the different graphs. Then uh, load the fashion MNIST data. This is same as that of our MNIST data set. The fashion underscore MNIST data set comes in prepack fashion with tensorflow.keras dot data sets. After importing that, we have to just use fashion underscore MNIST dot load data. It will return tuples for x train y train and x test and y test these corresponds to the training data and testing data respectively if we check the shape of x train and y train we are getting 60000 images of size 28 comma 28 and 60000 true labels coming to the test shape we have 10000 images for testing purpose Again, each image is of size 28,28 and true labels are again 10,000. So let's check out first image. If we print the first image, we will get something like this. Every value is ranging from 0 to 255. Again, it is grayscale image and it is indicating how much that particular pixel is bright. If we use matplotlib.pyplot for uh, plotting an uh, image with I am sure we can see that the first image is looking like ankle shoe and the value associated with uh, that image is 9. If we print the set of white range then we are getting values from 0 to 9 means there are 10 different values. Now as we have done in MNIST data set here also we have to rescale the data x train values should be converted in between 0 to 1 along with x test that can be easily done by dividing each value from the image by 255 easily we will get values in between 0 to 1 again the actual output associated with the image is just a number and uh, in order to work with that identification of class we have to use two categorical function from tensorflow.keras.util which will convert y train and y test to one hot encoding one hot encoding will convert the data in a vector form so we have size of 10 we have 10 different classes so first image corresponds to the ninth class so we are getting ninth class corresponding position as one rest of the elements are zero now coming to the actual uh, implementation of convolutional neural network we have to import models and layers so convolutional neural network is made up of five different layers first is input layer second is con 2d layer third is max pooling 2d layer fourth is flatten layer and fifth is dense layer convolutional neural network is basically a sequential model where input to the layers will be generated by its previous layers output so we have specified our model is sequential one after that we have to provide first layer as a input layer okay observe carefully we have specified input shape is equal to 28 comma 28 comma 1 okay so image is of size 28 comma 28 so this is height and this is actually the width now this particular image has third dimension so this dimension is called as depth it is also called as channel if we are dealing with grayscale image then we have to use one or if we are using colored image we have to use three correspond to the rgb channel so for grayscale image we have to use 
one only now don't specify the batch size over here batch size should be the part of model dot fit only if we are using batch size as 512 then 512 images with 28 comma 28 comma 1 will be taken for the processing so these four dimensions will be taken into account for the single weight updation each image is of size 28 comma 28 each image has channel 1 depth equal to 1 and likewise we have to consider 512 images after 512 images weights will be updated so this is all about input layer so basically convolutional neural network works on the three dimensional data after that we have to use con2d layer in con2d layer first parameter is filters filters is equal to 10 10 different filters we are using of size 3 by 3 that is kernel size is equal to 3 by 3 each filter might be concentrating on some of the features from an image for example we can uh, use first filter for identifying horizontal lines second filter might be concentrating on vertical lines third filter might be working on colors so likewise we are using 10 different filters stride stride is actually the distance between two successive windows so in convolutional neural network our filter or kernel will convolute through an image okay so this is the first position for the filter now at next position we have to shift this particular filter by how much amount in width and in height axis that is decided by the stride so new position of stride will be generated like this by shifting the kernel by one pixel right and one pixel down so this will continue till filter finds the last position that is stride padding padding indicates whether you want to pad the output padding parameter can take two different values first is valid and second is same valid indicates that whatever the feature map that we are getting after convolution just use that as it is don't pad anything to that output while same indicates that you have to pad the feature map and make sure that size of this feature map is same as that of the input provided to that particular layer for example this particular layer is performing convolution on this particular image of size 9 by 9 after performing convolutional operator operation obviously the size will be reduced for this output but if we want to get this size again as 9 by 9 then we have to use padding is equal to same by defaultly it is set to padding is equal to valid now activations we are using relu over here after performing this we can use max pool 2d layer max pool 2d layers job is to identify most important feature from the feature map okay identification will be done by considering the value present inside the feature map so con 2d will perform the feature map generation and max pooling's 2d job is to take the maximum important feature from the feature map so the job of max pooling is to reduce the input size for the next layer so previously image is quite large and it will be taken to the smaller size by the max pooling max pooling will reduce the size drastically because out of these nine values it may take only one value for the further processing it will also reduce the computational cost in the convolutional neural network then after that you can put 
the series of con 2d layer and max pooling 2d layer you can take as many layer as you want few lower layers will try to concentrate on the basic features of the image while the upper layers will concentrate on the complex and abstract features of the image we can use two con 2d layers one after another there is no any condition that you have to use compulsory max pooling after con 2d layer it is up to you after that somewhere we have to stop okay so after after the last max pooling layer we will get a matrix okay so this is matrix now this matrix need to be converted in a vector form since we want to attach this to the dense layer so the vector form can be taken from this matrix by using flatten so this flatten layer converts the matrix into the vector form for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 are present in 3 by 3 matrix we can convert that in a vector where we will get 1 2 3 4 up to 9 in a vector form now this vector will be attached to the dense layer in this dense layer we are using 64 neurons with activation function as relu after that we are using again one more dense layer with 32 neuron again activation function is relu and at the last we are using 10 neurons in the last layer with activation function sigmoid from 10 neuron each neuron corresponds to one class okay so the initial series of con 2d layer max pooling con 2d layer max pooling this is called as convolutional base and this is called as convolutional top okay now if we check the summary of our model then you will get that we have con 2d layer max pooling con 2d layer max pooling and important is in max pooling 2d layer we don't have any parameter learnable parameter because the job of max pooling 2d layer is to identify the most important feature from the available feature map okay again in flatten layer we are not performing any weight updation we are just converting matrix to vector so the number of learnable parameters over here are again zero so in bract propagation algorithm also flatten layer then uh, max pooling 2d layer weight updation will not be done after that we have to configure our training so how we want to train our model so we are going to use adam optimizer over here with categorical cross entropy loss function matrix is equal to accuracy now most important part convolutional layer works on 3d data we have image of size 28 comma 28 likewise we have 60,000 images so we have to reshape that so for the reshape we have used reshape function so reshape converts the 60,000 images of size 28 comma 28 into 60,000 images comma 28 comma 28 comma 1 if we print the shape we are getting 60,000 comma 28 comma 28 for training 10,000 comma 28 comma 28 comma 1 for testing here we are using batch size is equal to 512 validation data as x test y test and the training data is x train y train we have used 30 epochs for that so we are getting accuracy to 84 percent in the last epoch in order to plot the graph we have to check which keys we are using in history callback with history object so that can be identified with the help of history dot history dot key we will get dictionary keys okay and finally we are plotting the training and validation graph so this is how we can build a simple convolution neural network i hope you are getting this thank you for watching the video